Does Jenk Uger have TDS? Okay, so Jenk Uger seems to still be doubling down on Russiagate, even after it being a bust and the Mueller report coming out saying there's no conspiracy. Uh, there's obstruction, uh, there's some emolument stuff, there's a bunch of other things that Trump is totally a criminal for doing, okay? Uh, but the conspiracy angle has fallen to the floor, Rachel Maddow has lost half of her audience, CNN has lost a chunk of their audience, and you know, it, it's a bust, the conspiracy angle is a bust, that's confirmed. But people like Cenk Uger, people... And yeah, People like him, who I respect and have respected for a long time for what they've done in the progressive community, you know, to see him do this is very disappointing. And people online are giving him hell for it, as they should, including myself. Um, he does not need to be going down this road. He needs to be focused on the primaries, on Bernie Sanders, on Tulsi Gabbard, on Andrew Yang, uh, and, and populism in general. But he's not. He's going down this Russia conspiracy rabbit hole. Uh, post Mueller, post we know he we know there's no conspiracy. Okay, how could you even believe it in the first place? How stupid is Trump's team? Trump's team was so full of of a bunch just losers uh, and, and crumb dumbs and shoe clerks, and just just the most pathetic people, petty criminals basically. They're not going to be able to pull off a conspiracy, okay? Just anyone who believed that was an idiot. But yet, like I said, he doubles down. He, he sends out tweets like this. I want to read you a tweet from yesterday. Quote, For people saying Donald Trump is not taking orders from Russia, Trump coming out of a call with Putin and changing his language on Russian involvement in Venezuela is not good. If you say that's not at least some evident, evidence against your position, that would seem to be obvious bias, end quote. <sighs> okay, perfect example of the kind of tweets that Cenk Uger has been sending out since the Mueller report came out. He's basically saying here that Donald Trump is, is taking orders f from Putin because uh, Trump pivoted on something in Russia, uh, or in Venezuela after the phone call. I mean, I think at best, Putin can influence Trump. I think, I think Trump is impressionable when it comes to pleasing dictators and stuff like that. I believe that people like Putin can manipulate Trump. Not even overtly, just, just regularly, because Trump wants to impress these people. Okay? So, there doesn't have to be any orders. You don't have to go down the road to Maddowville and say he's taking direct orders from the Kremlin. Okay, it's ridiculous. And him putting out tweets like this is only going to degrade TYT more. And, and, and it's fracturing the progressive community. Because I watch these tweets, I watch the, the, the comments and the feedback... And it's horrendous. It's like, dude, what are you doing? Just stop doing this. We're done with this conspiracy crap. Just stop it. And I'm starting to get on board with that because this is ridiculous. Donald Trump taking direct orders from the Kremlin is insane. We've already gone through this. It's over. It's done. Forget it. There's obstruction. There's emoluments. There's a bunch of crimes going on. Don't get me wrong. But there is no conspiracy. It's done. It's over. Stop making yourself look bad. Stop breaking... Because it's breaking up the progressive community. And, and the left, as you know, the left eats itself. Willingly. Openly. And often. And stuff like this is only going to fracture the left. Where the right has no problem coalescing and being tribal and pulling the resources together uh, to defeat their common enemy, the left is over here, fracturing, splintering, a mutiny over here. It's just, it's, it's ridiculous. And it's stuff like that, tweets like that, is promoting it. All right, so let me know your thoughts. Leave a comment down below. Like, share, subscribe.